Hello fellow sin enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today's movie I will be reviewing is called Not Cool, directed by YouTube blogger Shane Dawson. This movie is about a girl named Tori who was one of the unpopular kids and was called Tori the Hori just because it rhymed and she was given that nickname we find out later by one of the cool kids, Scott, played by Shane Dawson. Tori and Scott come home for Thanksgiving break, and Tori has become this very cynical, very dark and twisted girl while she's been away at college because she's kind of seen the light, maybe, or just has become so sick and tired of life and getting picked on that she's put up a wall and a barrier to all those people that annoy the ever-living shit out of her. Scott was immediately dumped by his really whacked out insane girlfriend Heather while they were in an airport bathroom and I'll leave it to your imagination to guess what they were doing in the airport bathroom. When they come home, they find out that there is a party at this one place. Tori goes because her parents are just uber weird and she was pushed to go by one of her friends from school that she was facetiming and Scott just needs to get out of the house because he's very self-absorbed and he still kind of feels popular and he still feels like he belongs at home he's not really having a good time in college which we will come to find later on in the movie somehow Tori and Scott wind up getting into her car and having sex with each other the next day is Thanksgiving and they're both with their extremely whacked out families. Like, I mean, this puts your family to shame. Like, you think your family is crazy and that you have the weirdest relatives on earth. You have not seen anything yet. Their families, are they just make your family look absolutely tame in comparison. Scott leaves his house and goes to Tori's house because he keeps having this weird feeling that he likes. He actually enjoyed having sex with Tori. So he goes to her house to see if she felt the same way and, uh, you know, the usual thing. They start hanging out with each other and they do enjoy hanging out with each other. They have a really great time. Uh, Tori actually teaches Scott to just have a good time. He's very tight-ass and kind of serious, and Tori's like, ah, oh, you know, fuck it, whatever. That's like her motto in life. Just fuck it and have a good time. So she kind of teaches Scott to just fuck it all and have a very good time doing things. She gives him a brownie that she says was a pop brownie, but it turned out to be a placebo, and Scott just goes crazy and has a good time. Uh, one scene that was actually one of my favorites and made me laugh so hard was when they go to a grocery store and I guess they're shoplifting or they're just running around and picking things out of people's carts. Scott makes Tori put a watermelon up her shirt, makes her look like she's pregnant. They go up to the register and buy condoms and, you know, they're just bullshitting with the cashier. And as a joke, Scott trips Tori and she falls forward and crushes the watermelon and it freaks the cashier out. She starts screaming. I was dying. That was like one of my favorite scenes in a movie, I think. I could not handle it. It was so friggin hilarious. I think I actually scared my dog. I was laughing so hard. Then there is the side story with Janie, who is Scott's sister, and this kid named Joel who works in their father's record store. Joel really likes Janie and he wants to take her out. He tries to impress her. He like Facebook stalks her and finds out everything she likes and all this stuff and takes her out to the place she wants to go, all the dresses, you know, the dress that she wants. That kind of works, kind of doesn't work. The whole thing it just blows up and then it comes back together and then blows up again. There's a lot that goes on in Not Cool and I'm just gonna let you go watch it for yourselves because it's just a lot to explain. There is a lot. I don't want to confuse you. I don't want it to turn you off to seeing it and it, my summary may just sound like a bunch of garbage and I don't want it to sound like garbage because it's not. It's really, really funny. I had heard of Not Cool uh, when I first heard of Shane Dawson. He was one of the first handful of YouTube vloggers I 
had become familiar with, but I didn't really watch his videos. I had watched his collab videos that he had done with Grace Helbig and Mamrie Hart. For a while, I didn't really watch his videos by himself. It wasn't until May when I read Shane's book, I Hate My Selfie, which is now one of my all-time favorite books. I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that I am now a totally cool person. I bought it autographed at BookCon. I unfortunately did not get to meet Shane at BookCon. I kind of wish I did, but I was there on a different day. And when I found out that it was autographed, I immediately snatched it up. I do watch Shane Dawson now. I try and watch his videos regularly. I have subscribed since I read the book in May. And I think he's funny. So far, what I've seen of his videos, he's got an interesting sense of humor and he does bring that over into Not Cool. Now, the movie wasn't written by him, but he directed it and he did a great job. The kid, he's my age, uh, which is around 27. I think he's like a year younger than me, a few months younger than me. I think he did an excellent job. He made his direction fun and he really got a lot of good scenes. He captured a lot of interesting stuff and he really made the character so much fun with his direction. I forget who the movie is written by and I feel really bad, but the writing was hysterical. There were a lot of jokes that I was laughing so hard at. Besides the grocery store scene, which was completely genius, there were a lot of jokes that I thought were just like so freaking funny. And again, I think I scared the dog laughing through a lot of this movie with just laughing. For, I, I enjoyed it very much. I didn't even expect to like Not Cool. I had spoken with a friend who's also really, really into YouTubers about it, and she said that she had started watching it and she didn't even get through halfway of the movie. She couldn't take it. She didn't think it was funny. So when I started to watch this, I wasn't expecting to really sit down and fully pay attention to it. I have ADD, so usually if something bores me, I bust out my iPad and I just go scroll through Tumblr. I did not even pull out my phone to look at something, which is like, whoa. So applause for me because I didn't, I paid attention to the entire thing. That's how much I liked it. So good job with your direction, Shane Dawson, and an excellent job, writer person. That was great movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I had a great time watching it. Thank you for watching my review of Not Cool. If you liked my review in any way, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below so we can further discuss Not Cool and Shane Dawson, if you're a big Shane Dawson fan. And don't forget to subscribe for future movie reviews, which might include another very popular YouTuber movie, which I will give you a hint. The first word starts with a C. The second starts with a T. Do you know what it is? See, I've already got you. Now you have to subscribe to my channel so you can watch my review of that movie. See, I got you. I got you to subscribe. You know you want to. to keep your eyes peeled for that other movie. As always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.